here today to celebrate a life of our provincial uh, treasurer, a fighter who has been with us in the EFF since the inception of the EFF in 2013, a fighter who is a former secretary of Buffalo City, a former deputy chair of the Eastern Cape, and who was, a, who was currently a provincial treasurer of the EFF. No, but you have been put in with Tunzila, who far and ego igabo be Bokba, Unamuela. In Tongayan Colum Simelelo, Zandi to Tuzela, Zenza Mamanti Mutima Kuina Lushasa. No, it is a feel like a tuba, Napoli, Calopas, Funda Mancabanjinji, Gobo Marote, Walantulela, Ebi. No, my two go fight at every ghost, it have been a plenty. Amakabajinjilatuakiswe Tizalo as well as the child. In 2008, he had a diploma in paralegal studies at ITEC College. In 2009, he had a certificate for his own title at UNISA. In 2003, he had a clinic at the same time. He had a pro club at Sconville. He had a clinic at 2007. Tena zimanya kwa kuna nomcha, tena tume biashara mabamba ni wamsaadu, ono mbui sero, siasa lizwa, kabantu ana ababini, kunyana wamu emiye, kunyana ndondo wamu, uenzo kuhule. Fighter tibi gosi a play in the revolution. Fighter tibi gosi a play join the economic freedom fighter during its early stages of. Its formation in 2015, through his hard work and dedication towards achieving economic freedom in our lifetime, he was appointed the King Williams Town Cluster South Regional Coordinator. During the same year, at the Second Regional People's Assembly, he was elected as the Regional Secretary of Papua City Metro. Following the 2016 local government elections, he was deployed by the organization as its representative councillor at Buffalo City Mayor Municipality, where he served on the following committees Multi Party Committee and IDDP. In October 2018, during the 2nd Provisional People's Assembly, Fighter Tetigo Sasolini was elected as the provincial deputy chairperson. Following the conference, the newly elected leadership had a huge task ahead of them, which was the 2019 national and provincial elections, where they had to work towards ensuring that the organization grew in numbers and votes. Alongside his fellow fighters, they delivered and following the 2019 national and provincial elections. Fighter Tim Bingoza Blaine was deployed to the National Council of Provinces as a permanent delegate of Eastern Cape. During his tenure at the NCOP, he served in the following committees, trade and industry, economic development, small business development, 
tourism, employment and labor, transport, public service and administration, and public works and infrastructure. While he was the provincial deputy chairperson, Fighter Technicals served as the Eastern Cape Labor Desk Convener and as a chairperson of the Provincial Disciplinary Committee. In November 2022, Fighter Technicals was elected as the Provincial Treasurer at the Third Provincial People's Assembly. As the organization was preparing for the 2024 national and provincial elections, he was appointed as the provincial elections manager. In the organization, he was deployed in many regions during his tenure, and the deployments were as follows Amatore region, Krisani region, Jogab region, and Alfredo region. Fighter Tenugos Ablain met his untimely death while the organization still needed his fierce fighting spirit. The fighting will to lead the province towards victory in the upcoming elections. The fighting spirit to ensure that we have economic freedom in our lifetime. He left the Eastern Cape with a smile and a strong will to ensure that victory was certain. The Eastern Cape has lost a dedicated ground force, a good soldier, and a leader. Who can do my way to Ushiana Semba Uboskazi Wake, Abanduana Abatatu, Usoyama, Emife, Kunye, no Enzo Ushe, Abandakwabo, Ojadebake, Kunye, and Tanike Yamachana.
Thank you. Um, my name is Bongi de Alon. Uh, my task is very, very difficult, or it's very hard, but I'll try. Firstly, today, we are here to celebrate the life of a soldier, the life of a friend, which is fighter a pain. Kuko umbali okupangu William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare uti kwenye inuati yake, eti Julius Caesar. Uti kakuza umunishwa for the death of Caesar. Uti the evil that men do lives after them. But the good is oft intent with their bones. Let it be to a bring today. Whatever happened to him, get the sheriff's appeal about today. This is how is in place in Shanghai. I said to Abril was a friend to me. He was a friend to all of us here. But the organization decided that I must, I must the one who's going to talk by his name here. I said, Aplin was a very, very humble man. Kuko indeto istaliane eti kukulusi non fasiti monaku. It means don't hang your dirty linen before public. The tail Aplin was so close to me. Zangendi bone dirty linen yaki. In 2015, Waplin was already a member. I remember the time he was a convener of a King Lemstown cluster. I met him when he acted exactly what Julius Nyerere says. Julius Nyerere says, when you get a visitor, if visitor, if I visitor today, tomorrow you give him a home to go and work the land. That's what I plainly did when I met him as a, as a cluster head. Who I plain was a very trusted soldier. That is why the organization decided to use who I plain. If Umami lay opishwariake, you can trust him. You can trust him. You can trust him. An African writer called Shinwa Ashebe is a Nigerian writer. Oto Ushinwa Ashebe, if a man is unable to control his wife, he's not really a man, but he's like a man in the soul who had ten and one was, but not having enough soup for his fufu. Who are was not like that. Who are playing? took care of his family. He loved his wife. He loved his son. So, what I'm trying to say here, fighters, is that who are playing a role in the struggle for economic freedom or economic emancipation will never diminish in our minds. Who are playing in Jemba Bente, he was a humble man. Today, Sifumana Abandu, Utom Yumpali, before 
around 1960s, 1970s, what we used to laugh with our hearts, but today we laugh with our teeth. Uabin was not like that. Uabin was a friend. Ei soloko is my dealer and the park at Kwaban. Atu Julius Nyerere Kayeta, a communist, a communist can be, I mean, a capitalist can be a socialist if Umuche Bibako Yabushera Nabanyaban. Who are playing what he had. He used to share with all of us here, and the people know that. Aplin was not confused. There is a, a philosopher which is called Plato. O Plato says he, he is talking about what is called a Walter Mitty character. A Walter Mitty character is a character of a somebody who dreams or who had dreams or who had a, a great vision but he doesn't know how to execute that vision. Plato says that person is not only a danger to himself but he is also a danger to the people around him. Uaplin was clear. I just said that Uaplin was once a pastor to took it in a country up. Who are playing knew that he, he used to say to me, the David of the Bible, the Goliath and Pilatus, all those people were politicians. And that is true. So the, the God, God hates capitalism. That is why in the Bible they say, what he had, he used to share with us. There is a poet which is called Christman, is one of the African poets. This man in this poet says, remember I said who are playing than the Gamboni Kashali. Who Chris Man Uti Bule poem by the title of the poem says shades. It shades is assisted by shades. Uti Bule poem. It is true that Abandu but disclose his secrets is abo, abanganas kalena banya bandu, kubanba outside. I knew everything about him. He used to disclose everything to, to me. I know everything about who are playing. But there is a day in time we take a thing, even the time he was still alive, even a few days ago, the time suspected about Elizabeth. See, Xilum Selela, the Provincial People's Assembly, Sizao Electa Uko Misaya Sin. Satin the Toko Yea Aku Apa in Nancy Kin Ape Kong. Tasi Ampa and Dimna and Oche Persin were rich in Ufight Am Sin. Timbum Dopi, Simos says, does a labor desk. By Jalen Toko and Diko Nabatin Dauja, La Phone in the Bank. Satin Singa Kafik in a Sebai. Which <laughs> person were rich in without me. So I want to say to the family. Who are playing is not dead. Um, do that one is soul and one is body. The spirit of a play will never diminish to our eyes. I mean, to our to our minds.
Thank you very much.
Oh! Uh-huh. 
fighters. You know, Kunembo Madat, who fight her, played in the Tandaga pool. As a case, I do learn to fight to Makubani. Can you mean Dababona Sebelina no more? That is the Buyagi deployment of Tanzania in 2019. It is allowed to be more training. It is allowed to be the same song. Wafi Gomutata was only Lapi Mutri. Wafi Kawaku Paneto, Lapi Mutri. It is emotional when I think about that day because. Song can be very close, no fight how I play. All of us, Oglin and I, were very close to no fight how I play. Queen Goma 80, Kula Mata Tamyam. That comrade cried. The same song was sang Queen Funeral. Kakumri Dixit Matike Ginsberg. Young Gindria Vela Emotional. Lord Tetukuti, there was something in the corner between myself and the uh, fighter. He was like a brother. When I lost my brother, 2018, Fighter play no figure pagument in the armor no commissars. I don't know what to do that time. Wafika wachke le mutuin e amanesni fighters. Wafika was me was a de bum kebano menes. Dati e kumke no ka brata wam fumene o brata. Both Commissar Yazini and, uh, and Fighter are playing. Before the third the comrades, Angene, Oscar, Long, Kulu, Mven, Guam, we must sing that song. Eti, Fighter Makubana, Kula Makata Myama. This is how you are complete. Next time. Uh, you know, giving you pleasure is how you It's one of the revolutionary songs. Aba, baby, baby, to a cool. Commissar Nondano, Conjebez Canyon. Baba emotional, Kapulu, and we do a lot more. Etibula Matla Tamia Kuba Wagunz Makakul. Who fighter a plane was a fighter. One of the most disciplined caters of this revolution. When I met fighter a plane, Kela Kaisha Lok Formish organization. Since I'm an immortal cage, this is our cutting and comrade DC. See, I'm a former. Convener of the Eastern Cape Fighter. Well, but get what thing is. Class figure about 20 inch, about 20 inch, deputy president. For over 20 years, they don't have electricity. What well in Angumba, who are Babia Pilomba, Gumfu, who are Mano Teddy Cables. This is our Tatumba. This guy, that's strong as Bali. Come and go and do it. We have to reach the local guys to see that because we shall have been down. It was said they were in electricity. That they were going to a day to reach the local guys. Following day, that the man again have a fight to play. The day that guy promised they were going to enjoy it disappeared. What are they going to do? What now? Let's visit. But in the lag. Yabano was put in the Safaki motion by Bungi, assisted by him. Safaki motion, the counseling, 
Today, those people, they have electricity. Sati, who deputy president, I'm sorry to say this, said to our PCT meeting, commissars who are deployed in the provinces, they must not ask for lift from fighters. My was born and they must organize their own transport. I'm saying this because one day, a fighter played a ball again, a commissar long is a Ipoloya Kenya. Now, what you move him? See, I'm a Count Baker original office. O commissar, for man, if only in the motto, yeah. Hey, did I have a little mama carry pangay and an amount? Was hike, see office in. Then we start the hike, see East London original office. Some for men, artistic, cause a motto, she had the security. Yes, yeah, the sort of security does need. Sing any more to any start the motor siam. Kuno KFC or Kbe Lapi Amalina than the Kau Puma. So called Haman Slabin. Must tell us to twice pap. Besson Tana was to twice pap in the Coke. Stay with us to twice pap. Begging the call up a book of fighter airplane. Ufono call me Sarah Pauline. At the fighter airplane, where are you? At no Silapanga KFC commissar. At you know intelligence in Chelly Lepela. That there's a bomb in that car. Two <laughs> man in the mouth. Hey! Hey! And the cousin, they get another thing. Hey, oh, Commissar. We trust that, Commissar Rapoli, you know. You res we respect the leadership. Hey! See, put me more to it. See, if they get just a city of festival in the mind, let bomb. I explode this head. Hey! See, cause a man. So, can you come out? So, can you come out? Yes, I joke him out. But for the room, boy. We are for the number of the men and singer, they are bomb because of John Lemon. They are paying the dominance. Bam Kaban, what came to see us, we get a pay. We shake our team now. The African customers are here. We're looking at this car. They are the explosive lemon. I'm here. Let's be in the air. And we trust him because he was saying he was a former MK and all those things. Intelligence, all those things. Hey, these are explode the lemon. Hey, I can't be fooled by no boy man. The phone in. Hey, man, what's going on? I'm a fighter. You know, fighter. You know, as a police officer, up a and never. It was underground at that time. They were called you know, at you know. So as he explode the man, he said explode the lemon. Keep on. Can can you be another thirty minutes? Hey, see, in 30 minutes, it's fair. They sing in the mood. I said, I'm not a fighter. I play. I'm fighting for Spain. I said, I'm not a baby for the lay. I'm a man. 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 <laughs> so I'm saying the TP was correct because you see other things that even the Falun has gone. What I'm trying to say is that we fight our plane. Even we do not lose. A good thing that we go about to change the man. At the same time, at you know, we think we can. We just swear. That was fight our plane. It was one of the fighters that Ebe Simtanda, Simtoni P. The Kumbula, Genyi Mini, Yonkebe. Genye Yimini. Hey, Kunsi Magaku. Sibi Zwe, the province. No, Komisa Tebo Homokwi. Sisamoni. Who convened our province that time, Mulendo Owen, Noko Misa Tebu Homo Guili, and Nelson Mandela. It was myself who fight a Pindi, no new fighting as somebody who talk of fighter X. There's a Samoa. Gala Bespan and Owen, they let us the subject. 
of King William's Town. It was one of the most powerful sub region in the Eastern Cape, Commissar Ben. Hey, Sapala, he led us a summon at the whole convener of the province. He must come and account in a sub region. <laughs> hey, man, this is Moshi. Sasamon was to be, he was driving a black BM that time. Hey, Sandy, and I repeat them. As he has, this is the Lord Lord. Hey, class figure, pa. It was like you are not fighters. We were treated like people now, but Kulayo. Sabe, we go in. There's fighters. Hey, Sasha. Kala, kwa mubo, no fighter, a plane. Hey, Sabin, Salali, Kumai. And she be Sasha, Kala. Hey. Fighter plane, they are trying to go. Stress for it then. Yes, man, I was a fighter amos. Thanks God, now you want to talk about fighter well because he was talking too much English. Who then go amos? He was stressed. So, Santa, I'm a plane and see a plane, plane, plane meeting. Yeah, I saw this one. What one? When and how? Clara, we are told by the commander in chief that now you are fired. You are expelled from the organization. Hey. Johnny, I go. What this is this? As a man, you are not at all. But when what is doing? Remember that time we were close to elections, and we were operating on zero budget as the organisation. Hey, this is IT England. How we came back? So I was out to find men. There's a picture that was trending that I don't like. Because there's a sort of, that's what Peter at that time, Simba, we see to him, and you can see that these people will serve less stress. So go to a organization. Hey, what child fighter are playing? What I think, let's call the DP. The DP has nineteen. What that? Let's call the commander in chief. Because we are just putting a person say to him, hey, hey, ah, Simba, Simba, Allah, Simba, Allah. Then they told that on the next week the commander in chief. Is coming to to Savoya Hotel. So I take the bag. I will wear that that uh, bag on that day. He moved. That bag. Him now he knows which. There's a bag. There's a Nancy. Because the mouth is a. So I take his mouth because we're going to meet the commander in chief and explain our story. I still have that blazer. Hey sir, I can't get this one. That girl and that I couldn't go to to Savoya Hotel. So they went to the street. Street, she gave a lecture to the I loved him. He likes this thing of English. So since those were just future going to present our case there. They had the psychocars, a psychocars. He was rich. He went there and pushed his own thing. Then he was lambasted by the commander in chief. He can see it, I have you. But what I'm trying to say, comrade, is that the fighter played he was the friend of all of us. And what fighter are plainly left, we must make sure that Sitata Apo Ashie Kona. See how they say it. In Sukuzamuzo Kribel and fighter are plainly, it was a long weekend in the corner and in Bonabas Roports, Kong and Apes with each other. Ati, Krobam, the Afuna Man Kalepans is Ted, the man in Nanawe, Slung Sisi. Slung says it in here too. Sibeli ndo ewa. I want to say to the comrades of Buffalo City who are present here that those wishes of fighter are plain. We must make sure that Zienze, because those were the last words. Um kibela kwa mumbo no fighter are plain. I think it was last week or the week before last. We must all make sure that we are uniting this Buffalo City. We must make sure that the province is united of the DFP. Because 2014 is just around the corner. For us to defeat the cabal that is led by Oscar Mabuyana here in the Eastern Cape, it starts with us by uniting, as per the constitution of the EFF says, that inside the EFF we must trash out our differences and build the iron wall of unity so that the enemy cannot penetrate easy. That's what we need to do. We are going to attain the economic freedom in our lifetime through the discipline.
and the unity. So we want to say to the outgoing deputy speaker of the legislature that he must prepare his exit strategy. He must prepare in the Layake of Puma because the Red Sea has arrived. And Lord, do I only have to allow you to in Yangaje as in Balwa as Shikileo for the EFF to have the speaker and the deputy speaker and the premier in the legislature? So, so we want to say to the people of Buffalo City, you are going to attain the economic freedom in your lifetime through our hard work. Our people up in Buffalo City, they are waiting for us. Our people in the Buffalo City are whispering to us to say, we are ready to over a taste the government, the EFF. And we are going to give them. Deputy President, there's no water here. There's no electricity. There's nothing. The ANC has collapsed this Buffalo City. The Princess Fargo that just got elected as the deputy mayor here in Buffalo City. There is nothing that she's going to deliver except the promises to the poor people of Buffalo City. She promised the people of Buffalo City a lot of things that How do you promise people a budget and win who promised saying service delivery all our years that is more than 20 billion yet you have 9 billion budget so we want to say to you comrades go near and be your preacher to the people of buffalo city that the economic freedom is the only organization that is going to liberate our people economically there's no other organization the organization called eff is the only hope of the poor masses of our people. So, therefore, comrades, I want to say, Ugushi Wakoitu, Ufaita, Aplin, Makube, Yindo City, Okuamba, Kafaita, Aplin. For instance, in that deputy president, Bendila, I am going to my daughters. I attended the service there by Aplin's house. I can simply tell you now that I'm back now in church. So, go up, I'm a fighter, I'm bleeding, I'm the real moon swing. Amen! Hallelujah! I'm going to take a look at you.
Send our heartfelt condolences to you, to you, family. Ogunye, as Funukelayona, it's not the end of the world. Song as it way too. Ziti, Zaku, Kupela. Tumpadu Sigwa Munta. I need no one. Let me tell you, I have a point. Regional Secretary Nelson Mandela has lost his, her, her, her father. Kuchuguti, ukufauku, ibe siyamanayo. Sizamage uguti, ne. Ogosibini, masilenzi lizidombule, kuni. Ogosipa, unyanawini, O brother, we know. O tata, we know. O malu. Kulenzela. Esi hambayo. And this bam jam. Now we are in a memorial service to celebrate the life of our provincial treasure. Or the land in Kulu of the Podwe. I think we are here, Gata Comrades, so that we can remind each other of what is so happy. CP, of what's been in our status, CRP. But Gata, I am not the speaker of the day. But I felt like just to pass a message to the family on behalf of all our fighters. And number two, we check the road traveled. Jembasi Kribai 10 years in jail. Always start to, what lessons can we draw from the life of this comrade? As we have heard, history, a comrade are played. What he went through the processes of the organization, he grew within the ranks of the organization. And the organization will give him serious responsibilities because the organization trusted this comrade. I can say that without fear and doubt. He was a leader to ourselves. I remember he joined us as the first generation of regional leaders who were elected in conferences. He joined us 
the Amba Nofaita Tuman was the chair of the time. And all of us were taken through a particular process. And I'm happy that I am a proud product of the deputy president who is among us. And all of us we were taken through that process. When we were working together, GP, what I've discovered, one thing which was a strong point of our plan, our plan had to be so. He had a calling. He was an evangelist. He had a, a skill of church planting. Why can't he Why can't he learn? Why can't he as a struggle, say economic freedom. And everywhere he went, when we were deployed, here in Buffalo City, you can see the man was loved because of a character. Very humble, respectful, very disciplined. Uplaining was very disciplined, comrades. They were called disruptive. Even when a guy went down, he would never a challenge the command of the organization. The comrade has built the organization. If you can go there, you will never hear a history of EFF without the name of Tenigo Sable. Has built a solid organization there. Cho Kabi, Alfred Zoom. What amazes me, Deputy President, wherever he, he was sent, a brain will come out with the required results. A saying where one councillor there, a brain was said to me. When TP said to me, go and pay specific focus in Ingobai term, when I have arrived there, crate of Middleburg, comrades were organized in a way that I could not, I couldn't believe why we didn't have a council at them. Because comrades are organized and they are very vibrant, they are challenging and leading the community struggles. So, what I want to say, Ikamalake, wherever he has went, the man has make sure that the EFF leaves. It's people who appreciated the fact that here is a leader. This leader is imposing a position here. He's very humble. He leaves. I think that is one thing that we should learn from the provincial treasure. He positions it to Mazina Bisuzina Skwa Guis. Kubeko now us and then. The first generation of public reps in terms of he cancel us. He knew that we are full-time volunteers of this organization. But he knows that in order for us to build this thing, we can't go on the ground sing a matufi. Was very humble to that level. So, comrades, we are here to celebrate that life.
and draw some few things around the fact that above all, Fighter Aplen was an activist. I think that is one thing when I that is, is, is escaping us. The issue of Ogbana, when we are deployed now, we behave like executives. And we want to be like the municipal politicians and executive people. Whereas we must remain activists. In order for us, we can say it here for free, that what we are taught is that we must have an organization. And what is the character of that organization? The organization, comrades, must remain a shield of our people. And this organization must remain a weapon in the hands of our people. Because Abandu Bakutiba under siege, their government has turned against them. This government, the sitting government that is led by crooks, who even go as far as corrupting the academic institutions. Corrupting everything, corrupting everything, killing the hope of young people. Because young people, but if you corrupt that system, then what are you doing? You bring your criminal elements to everywhere you go. We are talking about Pascama Buya, the premier of the Eastern Cape. Therefore, we need to have an organization, comrade, that will remove the ANC. When my secretaries at that time, myself and him, will exchange notes, and I will say that we are removing the ANC in Nelson Mandela. Indeed, in 2016, the ANC was removed from Nelson Mandela because of its corrupt activities. Here, we almost removed it up by Buffalo City. But I'm glad when Adam see that we are growing nicely here in Buffalo City. Even this mayor who wanted to sponsor every word, one million, one million, one million, even in the words where there are no needs. All these words were given, one million, one million, one million. There is no idea. Because of this mayor is an illegitimate mayor, Pamsi. He's not, he's not the leader. He, her issue is still contested in court. But where we give you this one, we give, yeah, we force him. Let's go and remove the terrorists. Oh, boom. But this one, of course. So, comrades, it's time. I'm glad I can help you pronounce yourselves in the name of Tim Gossip Aplin, who was a unifier, by the way. This organization has started a process called him for where we are going to go and revive our fellow fighters whom we started this thing with. The proper fighters, notable well, we are talking about proper people. And then we revive and work together as a unit because it is possible to remove the ANC come 2024 comrades. I'm happy what the chairperson was saying here. We always say it in the legislature. Say, yes, you are an alcoholic. Yes, you are an alcoholic. I, I, am, I am well aware for my chairperson that there is a plan in the legislature to remove us. Um, through the dress code, because now we are starting to get irritation. 
We are touching the untouchables. Now they are saying that we have not been submitting papers to lawyers and all those things. But I can tell you now, if they remove us in legislature, that is where we excel. So in the name and remembrance of our provincial treasure, we came here to pick up his beer and we are going to soldier on. And we will move as a united force in the Eastern Cape in order to take down the government of the ANC. Amanda! Down with ANC, down! Down with ANC, down! Down with Oskarabuyana, down! Pata, EFF, Pata! In the midst of imitation, there is something real. Jemas Pila and Japepo Mini, Deputy President, Sishala and Jumuzi, Jenna Bandwa. Putting the shell tile, Babona Bandwa, and the Chigan for the scenes, who get Kubis Tena, Benjamin Fascot, who got driver, who got no mama not that. Balum Sitoti must beg a path, but Dale, because they believe it is their home. Because 
because there is real home where we all are going to depart to. Comrade fighter, a plane or saber will be so. Yes, again, I'm tattered in Chesaga. Yendo centuries when yak. In the Sikala, you're saying, no, but Tito Naman Yanga, but why? Amam Kelly was leading so Pumla, Upumlo and Apagat. I'm calling it this person as if they told at our sense that Jeb won two, a beggar is. Name Kulul and Anni Gentry Zio as Polydayo de Saz. In the Goba, who pillar work, being a lowly say, when Pagat. He was a gentleman, a giant. But the darker the night, the brighter the stars, which you call Brooks. In his honor and glory, Desauti Uni, discharge and unleash your energy. Abukondo, my Kafi Seba, and Abamiyama, what it is. We may differ in tactics. But we are common in convergence of the strategy. When I give Pula, Kulu, and Josabut, Unjalon Jayota, the deputy president, Unshaba, Ubu, yet, be a battery. That is what we believe in. And the generation of these leaders, my son. As Pazam, where's the link? Unjalon Jasos, as Pazam. As you have about 2008. Ningin too far, get one banana bag in the bank as we ask them. Sipuma, a whole way in the East London. The Kotobo New Lands have a chairperson of this province. Immediately, I took the podium, I pronounced Julius Malema as the president of the ANCU. In the middle of the chapter, the news to the Selen. Let's pick up Blue Fontaine. We are a comrade point. The biggest caucus. There's born and me leaders up. That's what we tell like a lot. But we are here, our leadership. In the Goba, a mission must never lose the traction. Be that shock absorber. In your presence and glory of remembering this towering figure. Ningam Kubuli or we are. Nim Kubule, Gendin, the Pansko Koyko and Kangele. The seven Subu Topo, Tinga, Elili Sue, Linga Panga, Lemangue. Ipuba de Kokeli, last joke, Kuni, the tenth anniversary. Tai Fele Kempo Nisot is still giving this to me, Lenya. Congratulations for your tenacity. In conclusion, from the chair. Sweet waters of sweet water, ten bitter. The day news spread like fire. Gusti Kotami de Koke. But as a legislature of the province of the Eastern Cape, we are here to salute his towering figure and with great adoration and reverence. He was a fearless, not easily intimidated. He died with his boots on. He was selfless leader who are here to honor today. Agwambaka staff. Abana Bati over semi put twenty men sagali se ulusu lemi put. Agwamaga niki niki in twenty out poopa spell of Faluba Sazaltini Nana. He represented this province with greatest of ideas. We again go to the Dosa put. I opumla, ala le pesbe spubaska abram atutu zelo kamanya ngabuwa. Koska zake na bando ana sabut tutu zelekan uku fa kungu mise. Songe tina banda ba fuga bas bimise singa bantu abakomus. Noko babe stabil jenga magaza na zozongi ntak. As it is up there kamakanda. As an elected representative or public representative, 
He represented the people whom he served with distinction. As a leader, his unyielding commitment to his values and beliefs were evident. We admire his talent and his energy and appreciated how much time and effort he gave in representing the people of the province of the Eastern Cape in the National Council of Provinces as a permanent delegate. Stoba in and bowing adoration. May the spirit of Comrade Aplane rest in eternal peace. The but this man loved Africans. He loved the rivers of this country, the trees and all. We are saying this afternoon, may the cardinal pillars of radical economic attainment be achieved in his glory and honor. Thank you very much, fighters. We are, thank you very much. And the Nigi Tuba, Sikabele, Masbong, a good deputy speaker, Walapa legislature, Utedega Utlem Kulua, Yako Nuti, Enenini, Ungumtu Novo, Onobulungo, Dala. Bebustiwa, unga boy kaya, ife ni ama police, unga kabu chonge kandu uza hipo mpingwa. Diabonba wa ba baromas. Yan bozu komsa ya zine pa ubuti. Why are you allowing this man to speak after you? I'm saying ah ah, there is a hipo. You won't make that mistake of responding here. There is a hippo. <laughs> Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker Kuloa. Um, we are going to comrades with a very vibrant revolutionary song. Sisa upagami si bogoto, umamu no kwaka, umuse a intro to say a second Sakuni, sisi sakoe tu. Ubetiwe zimakwa, abetwa zimkaneko. Hifu meleni sisi sakoe chini chete. Kwa akufumi kuba na mituwe. Sela lo kufa usuka pip. Sela lo kufa upega pip. Sela lo kufa misanga sako si kuge la pesu mu ya chukia chukia ya chava la liza. Utata ulucha utata the young branch utata biko keli za wamso. Sidi na isolo se tu tina young branch uwe kufa. Aya hamba makawe. Aya hamba makawe kasi. Kushika amakuwa wako kwa kuti. Asasi na watu wote fikra kwa. Oh mama basa tu kionga bado na babo. Kwa kwa kiti kwa chikile, o mama, kwa 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 So nenda ni natina, ya mbrati kwe kufa Nezalama ne. 
na kuyo ifemeli ipela ndithi kuyo akuhlanga lunge hlanga eh lalani ngenxepha zezithi zakufika inkumbulo zezithi zakufika inkothelo nibambelele nikhumbule what was recited here just before ufundo i obituary Psalm 23 ati Psalm 23 ahlale ezinhlezweni zenu mnake eh owamusebenzi ncane ukuthi mani introduce the deputy president of the EFF the co-founder yale organization ingaphephe kwezi government ingaphephe kwezomnotho ingaphephe ye three school of thoughts ezithi zizikhumbuze ukuba singobani sivela phi iyintoni imbangi yokuba kubekho lombutho kuthwa economic freedom fighters nguye ke lowo u Floyd Nyiko Shivambo ngicela sithama sisebenza in the Eastern Cape province when we were in the National Executive Committee of the ANC Youth League, he used to be the chairperson of the Congress Youth League here in this province. So he is part of the generation that saved economic freedom in our lifetime as a generational nation. And his deputy chairperson was was come up with an who mistakes uh, he thinks pick and pay in university the same thing. <laughs> the, I don't know what had happened later on that uh, things got to change because despite belonging to different homes, I would think that uh, Comrade Mibo has got a better temperament to could have led the uh, the generation even beyond the, that time. But you know, when you master factionalism and use money, you can always overtake people <laughs> for serious leadership responsibilities. And that is the crisis that this province is confronted with and might not be uprooted if nothing happens in terms of the work of the EFF. We have set aside everything else that we had to do today to come and pay tribute to Tembinkosi Aplain because he was a very reliable and disciplined and dedicated fighter from the formation of the economic freedom fighters. So here in Buffalo City region, we had to restart the formation of the EFF because when we started in the beginning, we realized that we did not start properly. Like the people that were elected by the first regional people's assembly did not show the necessary discipline and focus to lead and found the organization here. So we had to stop the term of office of the first RCT of Buffalo City and then went into an early people's assembly which elected Tembiko Seaplin as the secretary of the region. And that was sowing a seed that got to have Buffalo City as the best performing region in the entire Eastern Cape province. 
Because if you look into elections, post that from the second regional people's assembly, the third, there have been four regional people's assemblies in this region. When all other regions in the country of South Africa had had three regional people's assemblies. Because we had to restart the formation of the EFF to do it properly. And when we restarted, we were blessed to have uh, Tembiko Aplin as the regional secretary, who understood what had to be done, what is to be done in terms of building the organization. I'm not speaking positively about Aplin because he has passed away. Consistently, in all the interventions, in all the weaker regions and areas where we had difficulties, we would always prioritize sending him to say, let's revive the organization then. Because despite having stabilized the Buffalo City, we used to have a lot of problems in Amatole region. And when we sent him to Amatole region, I remember when I actually got to pay far much more closer attention to him was when he had convened a relatively larger meeting of the EFF in Mosha Municipality, where we had thought that we were not going to have any presence and relevance. Even the deployment that we made to Georgia region was purposeful because we knew that he is going to add value to the organization. Even us saying he must be deployed to the National Council of Provinces was a purposeful and clear decision because we knew of the value that Aplin could add to the organization. He perfectly embodied one of the principles of organizational democracy in the constitution of the EFF. One of those principles says that it must be selflessness, like love for the organization and love for one another. He was a selfless leader of the organization. I'm not sure, Commissar Nolitando, if the organization loved him. Tembinko Aplin was not supposed to die. And I don't think that there is nothing we could have done about it. Because when one of ourselves, defined by this principle that we must love one another, begins to have problems, we should, consistent with our principles, begin to pay closer attention. Aplenu was not killed by a natural disease or a natural cause. He took his life. And a person who takes a decision to take their life, they can be persuaded not to do so. If we knew what was happening, if ourselves who were surrounding Aplenu knew what was happening around him, we could have persuaded him that there is a far much bigger agenda ahead of us. There is no need to take your life now. I'm saying this because on the 7th of May, we lost our councillor who was sick for a very long time in Inokumukijima, Siabulela Jek. But the report of the province to head office all the time says, no, this person has disappeared, he's no longer doing work, we must recall him. The province was saying, no, let's recall him, we must. He died just before the CCT that took place now. What does that mean? It means that we as an organization who do not love back the people who otherwise have dedicated their lives to this movement. I don't think that it's God's will that Aplin died. Because every time we rush to say, no, it's God's will, I don't think that God would want to have the life of one of the most disciplined, selfless people die in the manner in which a plain head to, like where he was hopeless. 
that he took his life, it means that he thought that all of us here, including those of us who work with him closely, couldn't provide a solid solution to whatever problem he was facing. We need to take a lesson from this that it must never ever happen again. None of the leaders of the EFF, we must always look after each other. We must love one another. All the time when you realize that it looks like there is something wrong with the colleagues, you must always look after one another. And, and you know, fighters, we always say that We, as the leadership of the EFF, we, we do not come to say to you to do things that we do not do ourselves. Despite all of us in the officials in the top six working in different provinces and not getting time, but there will never be a time where the president, the secretary general, the national chairperson, the TG, Everyone always check on each other. Is everything fine? How is the family? How are the parents? Where do you stay? Who is paying for the place that you stay at? We ask those basic questions every day. What are your major installments? All those basic things. That is what we want to taking care of each other means. That is what we must be doing all the time. Then we are not going to have a situation where amongst us we have a councillor who gets sick for three, four months and, and the, the leadership of the province is not aware that when the councillor was terminally ill. We are not going to have a situation where a provincial leader, provincial treasurer, out of whatever form of frustration he takes his life. And you can't claim ignorance here that you do not know that he had some differences with his wife. And those things can be resolved. Like, there's nothing that can be resolved in this end. But what did we do about it? What did we do about it? The chairperson of the province, Yazid and Ven. What did we do about the difficulties, whatever difficulties that are playing face? It must never happen again where we lose one of the most dedicated and most disciplined and focused fighters in the struggle for economic freedom in our lifetime. Do you know, in the 2014 elections here in the Eastern Cape, we received 70,000, 75,000 voters, people who voted for the EFM. And in 2019, that number doubled, like increased by 100%. And due to, amongst other things, the work which Aplenu contributed to, but you will never hear him claim that I did all this work alone. Aplenu will never ever claim individual victories for collective effort, even when he was playing the most important role. And without fear of contradiction, I can tell you that just the PCT, when we leave regions, just the PCT, the 25 PCT members, if the 25 PCT members could show the same levels of dedication and consistency and reliability that defined our plan, we're going to get more than a million votes in this province. There is no sound reason why the people of the Eastern Cape are only presented with one option of the ANC. It doesn't make sense. Everything else negative defines this province. The highest level of youth unemployment is in this province. The highest levels of corruption, 
The mad schools are still in this province. The highest number of pit toilets in schools are in this province. The highest number of dysfunctional municipalities are in this province. Where you have got municipalities that can't even pay salaries of their own workers. How do you think they're going to provide basic services? The ANC has this man failed to run this province. It's the this man failure. It therefore doesn't make sense that there can't be an alternative that is presented to our people. Just the PCT only. If we had the PCT that would demonstrate the same levels of dedication and focus and discipline, selflessness, that defined our play. We are going to win elections in this province because he had the patience of going to everywhere and he was not doing it because he wants to impress anyone. Majority of times when you arrive in a region, even if you had called a meeting, he will try to disappear and give you the space to interact with branches. That is who a plan is. When the third provincial people's assembly took place here in Komisar Nomichum, the branches of the EFF elected the top five of males only. He was contesting against a male fighter. Then when we called the top five elected, the males, the five males, and then I said, what should happen with this outcome? Aplen was the first one, not even fiction. If these comrades are honest, will say, they will repeat the same thing. He said, I can give away my position. We can get a female to replace me. <laughs> he, was, he was the first one. Like, if you didn't say that, no, now that I'm elected, spelling it in like this, um, that people think that just being in a position, then your problems are finished. He knew that majority of times when we take these deployment positions to parliament and we always prioritize officials, but he says, no, I can give the position away if it's in the interest of gender parity in the organization. He didn't say, no, I'm going to be uh, insisting you have been elected here. If I'm not mistaken, he actually received possibly the highest votes of the officials that were voting. But he was the first one to say that for the interest of gender parity, I can give away this position. And then with others, we had to take a decision, a correct decision to correct the, the unlawful outcome of that PPA. So this is the, and um, if we can have just the 25, Showing the levels of selflessness, of discipline, of dedication to the organization that Aplin demonstrated were going to win elections in this province. This province is a very strategic province, not only in the life of the EFF, generally in the life of the economy of South Africa. So as an economic emancipation movement, as an economic freedom fighter, we must always talk about the economic significance of the provinces that we exist in. So you know, geographically, the Eastern Cape is the second biggest province after Northern Cape. It's actually bigger than many countries in the African continent. The, the province of the Eastern Cape is bigger than the Ghana. It's bigger than Burkina Faso. It's bigger than Malawi. It's bigger than Eritrea. It's bigger than Mali. It's bigger than Mauritius. It's bigger than Rwanda. There's got huge strategic advantage like, for many economic opportunities. I mean, I've got 800 kilometers of coastline. And the ocean by itself is an economy if it is utilized purposefully. There can be maximal value that can be generated out of the oceans here 
in the Eastern Cape, if we were to have a sober and clear government that is committed to the interest of our people, 800 kilometers of uh, coastal area, Port Elizabeth, East London, obviously, is part of the coastal line, Coffee Bay, uh, Port Alfred, huge economic potential. Can I explain the poverty of Port St. John's? It's coastal, but it's one of the poorest areas in the whole of South Africa, PSG. Because there's no government that is purposefully looking as to what do we do to change the conditions of our people. There is huge potential in agriculture. There is huge potential in the mineral resources. And the, the conditions of our people, are, I spoke about it earlier, that is the worst. All developmental indicators show that the Eastern Cape is worse in terms of everything. And there is no superpower or super being which is going to solve the problems of the Eastern Cape. It has to be ourselves here. And the EFF is an instrument, it's a weapon, it's a vehicle that can bring about meaningful change here in the Eastern Cape. Only if it has got people who are selfless, disciplined, focused, and dedicated in the same way Aplin was. But if we are going to be all over and not doing organizational work and not disciplined, always we are looking for ourselves. We are self-seeking. We are not going to be different from those who are in office now. We have, of course, taken a decision that we are going to, in some instances, participate in government in Nelson Mandela. I think we must have the same discussions in relation to Sarah Barkman as well in the municipalities which are being led by the DA. We must remove the DA. We are removing them for, correct, for correctly characterizing us as their number one enemy. Because we are indeed the enemy of white monopoly capital as the EFM. So that characterization of the DA saying the EFF is their political enemy number one is a correct characterization because we are of course number one enemy of white monopoly capital. And that is what the DA represents. So we want to show them how enemies behave everywhere where they got power through the vote of the EFF or abstinence of the EFF. We're going to show them flames everywhere. So we're going to remove them in Nelson Mandela and constitute government, which is not going to be led by the ANC must be led by a minority party and then we are going to participate in that government. The chairperson of the province, there must not be any temptation that we are just going to substitute DA councillors and ANC councillors and continue with the same things that they've been doing of looting government resources. We are not, we are not substituting. We are changing government and the agenda must change as to what do we seek to do with the departments which we are going to lead in that particular municipality. If anyone thinks that now that we are going to participate in government, this is now an opportunity to steal government money, that must come to an end. We have seen miracles that there is too much theft inside ANC municipalities. We are government partly in a Tequin. We are government in a Kuruli, majority government. The ANC is accommodated there as well. We are government in Johannesburg, the city of Johannesburg. The extent of corruption that we discovered there is, is a miracle. Do you know there is an issue which we spoke about in public, about the municipality has got 106 trucks which were bought with number plates, everything is registered. 
They are all less than five years old. Trucks. Truck is very big. That, those compactors of rubbish collection. Then we say, oh, can you show us the trucks? We want to see them and the drivers want to touch the trucks. We are, we are more than a month in government. Now we've only seen 36 trucks. But the municipality bought 106 trucks. And what happens when we then go and open a police case that they is stolen vehicles now? The ANC in a government calls a press conference and say, no, there is no corruption. These trucks, we are going to find them. Give us a month, we'll find them. How, how do you take a month to trucks? That thing is very big. You can't, you can't, you can't it's not a memory stick, that thing. <laughs> Basic things, we have to change. Do you know these municipalities, the metros, have got huge revenue potential to generate their own money, a lot of money. So in Ekorulene, Ekorulene has got 11 towns. Jamestown, Bradburn, Alberton, Benoni, Boxbeck, and it's got 26 townships and 163 informal settlements. But in all those areas, these billboards which are owned by the municipality, the municipality only makes 17 million brands out of billboards, like outdoor advertising. But the municipality owns more than 3,000 billboards, but it only collects the revenue from 80 billboards, 80. You can imagine how much money if, the, if we were caught. And not that the people who are occupying the remaining 2,900 billboards are not paying, they are paying. But someone is collecting money which is supposed to go to the municipality. You will realize those when we enter into government, the majority of municipalities under the rule of the Democratic Alliance and the rule of the DA are crime scenes. We never think that Mandela municipality is the one of the poorest municipalities in South Africa, if not the poorest municipality in South Africa. But you have got a premier of this province involved in stealing money of the poorest municipality in the province, in the whole of South Africa. I've never been to any poorest area than Bizana. Where there is no sign of government, there, is, where there are areas where there is nothing government about it. No road, no water, nothing. And that will not change if we do not have a strong alternative as an organization that is going to be presented to our people. Fighters, like we say all this all the time, that proper scientific research and illustrations point to the fact that majority of the people of South Africa have lost faith in the ANC. They know the ANC is corrupt, it cannot do anything, but they, they, they still have not taken a decision as to who else. In our case, it's because we have not yet gone to all the corners of this province. We have not yet presented ourselves much more family to each and every word of all the 701 or 705 words. Does that mean it was 710? If we present ourselves clear in the way it here in this province, the people are going to give us the mandate, but we are not doing so. We should, from Aplenity, Show maximal dedication to So in South Africa we have got the existing power stations can produce, I'm going to talk about this purposefully, if you don't understand it, I'm sure we'll understand it next time. 
So in South Africa, we've got installed capacity to generate 54,000 megawatts of electricity. But to end load shifting in South Africa, you need about 33,000 to 37,000 megawatts. But we have got already the capacity to could produce 54,000 megawatts. But currently we have got like 25,000 megawatts because they have shut down the key units that were supposed to produce what is going to take us out of uh, load shifting. The ANC now is like running a grid which has got only 25,000. If it goes below 20,000 and you try to wrap it up again, we are going to have a national blackout where the entire country will have no electricity at all. That is going to affect water supply. That is going to mean that when people die, they must be buried the same day because they won't be refrigerators. Well, I had that to a crisis because of a government that is incapable to solve our problems. Ourselves, we went to Parliament beginning of the year to say that when we are fixing this capacity of ESCOM, let us plug to the grid these FSRUs, the floating power stations. Even if we can plug them for 18 months or for 24 months and then we we'll go and fix the power stations of ESCOM. But first we must stop this illusion and, and, and craziness to think that we can move away from coal. There is no electricity that is going to come from anywhere else in South Africa immediately. Dependable electricity except from coal. And all these things that we're talking about are practical can be done. When we say that the Russians have got capacity to help with electricity, we are not talking because we have read it somewhere in the newspaper. We met with the Russian ambassador to South Africa and we met with technical experts who can bring about electricity in South Africa. When we say that the Chinese government is readily available to help with skills, we met with the Chinese ambassador and consular general to bring about proper solution to electricity. When we say that bring back Brian Mulif and Machela Kuku to go to ESCOM, it's because we sat down with them and said what we do with ESCOM. They illustrate to us step by step that if you give us that thing, in three months we're back to normality. So when we talk about electricity, we're not just theorizing. We're talking about things which can be done now. But the ANC, because of corruption, they've allocated 80 billion rand now for June only to buy this 80 billion to buy diesel to power the power stations which otherwise were supposed to be getting electricity from coal. Because they want to enrich themselves, they want to steal for themselves. And if the grid collapses, we are going to dark ages. It will, it will almost be impossible to take the grid back to its full functionality under the current government. Because of corrupt intentions. Because of the corruption that they want to steal. To the extent that no, if we are not eating out of a solution, the solution must not come. That is what they do. You know, you can have a situation where people do not have water and the water solutions are there. Then they say, no, if we're not eating there, there's no water which is going to take this, it's going to happen. That is why we as the EFF becomes a perpetual and consistent relevance and alternative to say instead of depending on these tenders, we must build state capacity to deliver services to our people in a much more dependable way. But to achieve all of that, we need a strong organization. We need an organization that is solid 
on the ground, which is comprised of volunteers who are selfless, which is comprised of ground forces who do work of the organization no matter where, no matter what time, like our plane was. Not self-seeking individuals. We need to have an organization that is found within the people. Not a group of people who are always together, all the time. We must, we must spread ourselves and go and speak to all the people in, in all the municipalities here, in all the world, starting from now. The people are looking for alternatives. If you did not learn anything from April, at least learn the selflessness, dedication, and consistency, and dependability. And as I close, I'm calling on all of us fighters that let us be all of us defined by this principle, which is even constant as well. We, we, we say that we are the only organization that has got love in its constitution to say we must love one another. Selflessness, love for the organization, and love for one another. I don't think that Uplink should have died. I think and I don't think that there's nothing we could have done about it. I don't think there's nothing, I don't think we were that helpless. Because if the leadership of the province officials had been engaging with him and then they realized there's something else, you elevate that to the national leadership to make interventions. What do we do? What kind of professional help do we source to help one another? So this must never happen again. So to the family, we, are, we apologize because a plane has made the EFF to be his second home. It was his main love of so many things that he was involved in. The sister says he was a breadwinner, he took care of everyone else. And we felt the same that he took care of all of us as well in the organization. The province must talk as to what then do we do that a breadwinner has been lost in the Aplane family and come with sound proposal as to what interventions do we make because to some extent we, sh we should have shown back the love that Aplin had for the organization. We should have protected him from everything including from differences with his wife. We should have found a way of amicably resolving the problems and we could have avoided the situation that we are in. And this therefore calls on all of us as ground forces of the EFF, RCT members, PCT members, CCT members, members of parliament, all the time check what are the issues that define all of us. Whether we are well, whether we are well positioned to continue performing our tasks. I do not think that there is something insurmountable that we could have not done to save the life of Tebiko's airplane. He was a great soldier. We salute him. The Secretary General will come and bid farewell to him on Saturday. Thank you very much. Saturday, and so Kalumanabin for seven between seven and nine.
there is a poster that we circulated that is detailed on where do we go and the leadership of the regions will be doing that, uh, will circulate again, make sure that we are clear on what is going to happen. And then, Mvago was here a Kaya about nine, uh, go nine. And then that's where the funeral service is is our Kuba corner. Uh, that's the main announcement uh, that we have for today. Then uh, the other part of the whole program is to thank all of you fighters, especially ground forces who took their time. Bazo Sniga Istima, Lomsitu Thank the leadership, the regional leadership that has been consistent in working together and ensuring that every activity that we do, we do as a collective. Uh, the provincial leadership, PCT members who have left the deployment. Fortunately, we have PCT members who attend their deployments. All of them today, uh, uh, have left their deployment to offer support on activities that must be done. But without the guidance of this national leadership, we wouldn't be where we are today. We wouldn't have had the strength of doing this exercise that we are doing today. But also the cooperation of the family, understanding, sharing of thoughts with the family has gave us the strength to be where we are today. Our wish is to close the chapter of our leader, our brother, in a very peaceful, dignified manner. We thank you very much, Ngozi.